and 40s. Don't forget, he won the Joburg Open just a couple of weeks ago, Charlie. He secured a place in the Open Championship as a result. But here he is at the, uh, at the fourth hole. His third shot, it's, it's down in the water, and he chooses to, to undress. Here, here, hold it a second. No, Charlie. No, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please no, look. No. Keep it on. The mic wire won't work. I tried. I tried. You know, but by and large, when, when I see folks that don't actually practice this from time to time, go in and try and play a shot out of the water, you don't get good results. I mean, you, you have the Bill Haas winning the FedEx right. Cup and the Tour Championship, all of that. But most of the time, what you see is they get in there and, and they flinch. They, they don't commit to the shot and see through the shot. Go ahead and say, hey, I'm going to send water everywhere because you've got to have a lot of speed to you play do. this shot. Mm -hmm. So if you decide to do this, the deeper the ball is down in the water, the more square you want to get the club face. That'll actually let the club face dig a little bit and get Absolutely. down in the water. But never try it unless just a, at least a little bit of the ball is above the surface of the water. Agreed. But Agreed. the key is you've got to commit to it. You, you gotta think commit. the fact that he's taking his shirt off means he's going to commit. Yeah. I would have put rain pants on, though. I would have covered up my nice slacks. I don't have mud all over them. But Should we just he, roll it? Roll it, yeah. what happened? He's trying. Yeah. Just, just didn't quite. I think, you know, he, he, he just didn't have enough speed there. The very end, I think he just might have flinched just a little bit. And, and that ball was down pretty good ways as it well. It was. It was. And he got lucky by the wires. I mean, that's the other thing you got to look at. It. What's my risk? What's my reward? What's the percentages there? If I, if I hit a good shot... I get it on the green, maybe I can get it up and down. Or can I get it up and down? If not, you take a drop. It looks like a pretty simple chip. Mm -hmm. You just chip it on the green and take your one-stroke penalty. In okay. general, I don't recommend trying that. Right. You don't. Henry mm -hmm. Stenson it tends to pull work. these off. But you'd think in a round of golf, you'd have one shot like that. Well, fast forward five holes. And there he is at the ninth hole, guys. He's in a very similar situation. Chosen to keep the shirt on this time. Is it going to pay off? I, I don't think this ball was actually down in the water. This might have been in the muck a little bit. And mm -hmm. I think the reason we saw him get his shoes off is, is, is so he could get his feet in right. there. And, and, and where his feet are, there's enough water that will get in and get in your shoes. But this is one that still he had to go down after. And you can see, go ahead and roll it. He had to get pretty steep with it. Pops up in the air. And it's not going to have much spin on it. It was sitting down enough to where it came out. Just sort of like oh. a plugged bunker lie. Yeah. But, yeah. uh, and he got lucky there. I mean, it, it was. was a decent shot, but he did get lucky in hitting the flag. It was, it was a good and a bad break because if it doesn't hit the pin, it probably runs by 15 feet. And it could have gone easily in the hole, too. Mm -hmm. So it worked out. The one thing I would tell him from watching these two shots, hit more club. He's short on both shots. <laughs> Hit one more club each time, and he's got a putt for birdie. Good advice right there. And no need to take the shirt off, guys. You know, keep the shirt on. The shot works out. For no. The Let's keep it on. Let's keep it on. Charlie, no. <laughs>